Hello my viewer and welcome back to Kate's Crochet. Today we are off hook and we are working on something different though related to yarn. Um, with me here is a mesh. This is called a plastic canvas. It is not the normal tapestry formats. This one is hard. Okay. So this is a plastic canvas and it, it, it's used to make a variety of things starting with mats uh place mats I, I i mean floor mats and place mats for the tables they can also do hard uh, handbags and um they make like everything you can use this to make so many things so today i would like us to learn how to bind the edges you know when you just work on it uh, here and you leave the edges undone how it looks so now i have this one which is already filled this is a placemat a table placemat this is done by one of my students she has also done this one they are two different patterns and uh, this is no, uh, this is not uh, this has not been done binding this one is half done and this one also which is not filled i've also done some places most of the places so to do this we need a pair of scissors for cutting the yarn and we are doing this using a darning needle so you can see it has a big hole and yarn so i'm going to start with the one that is not uh, done anything so for this one i like starting at the middle not at the corner okay so i like starting this at the middle so we are going to check our right side so this is neat we are going to make this our right side and so we take our yarn and we thread it on the needle one good thing about this needle is that it is not uh, it is easier working with it because one it's not sharp and two it has a big hole so once you have your yarn on your needle we are going to start i said we are going to start on one on, at the center not on the corner so once you identify your right side you are going to start uh, to start from the wrong side okay so you pass your needle and so for the uh, for the yarn that is left hanging here you just pull a, and it is just left a bit of it so now with the yarn on the needle we are going to like coming across coming from right side to the wrong side and we are going to work that ensuring that this yarn is uh, lying on on this part so to the next hole i hope you can see this here we are going to uh, to go through that and now you can see the yarn on top of the uh, of this part again so you can turn it this way again we go to the back side and to the next hole we do the same and we continue doing this all right to the next hole ensuring that this yarn is being held by the yarn that is coming on this other side okay so to the next hole here and then coming to the front or the right side and you just continue doing this
it is way faster than any other method and this is one of uh, I I mean I I think it's my favorite of all. It's so easy, it's so fast. So I think you can see what I'm doing. From wrong side to front side to right side. Ensuring that you're not skipping any hole. One thing I, I like about the canvas to tapestry is that this one is hard and it is uh, easier working with. But now when it comes to price, this is a bit expensive compared to the tapestry. And that's why tapestry is so common because of the price difference. So you continue and until you get to the to the corner where I show you how to work on the corner and how to turn. Remember we are not cutting yarn. Once we are done with like one side, we just turn and we continue working uh, with the same same yarn. So I'm almost at the corner. I hope you guys can see. So I'm one hole to the corner. And so this is the corner um, hole. So I'm going in there for the first time. Again for the second time in the same hole. And now the third time so in the corner hall we are doing three times and you realize now it has turned you to the other side as you can see this is already on this other side so the first uh, time you were doing it worked on that side it finished on that side the second one came exactly at the corner and now the third one is coming it's like now it's directing you on this other side and now again you continue doing one in every stitch in every hole i'm used to stitches guys so we continue this is very simple you continue doing the same When you come to the corner again, so I'll use the one that is almost at the corner. So you can bind before or after you, you fill your canvas. This will depend with what you're making. If you are making it for a mat like this one, it's okay. You can bind before or after. But if you are doing for a hand bag, you are going to work on it first and then you will bind it together when you are now completing the handbag let's take for example that this was done for an for a clutch so we fold it okay this already forms the clutch i hope you get what i mean right so now you bind when joining these two parts okay you join them together and then there is this other part which will come on top of it i guess guys you get assume you already um, attached these two parts together so it's only this one which will be opening so you can have something here to hold this okay so you have to uh to fill in the canvas uh, first if you're working on a handbag so that you can bind when you are joining pieces together okay so we continue with this i would like us to see again what happens at the corner i go there first time 
the second time and the third time all right and now it turns me to the other side I continue doing this the yarn is getting shorter so you continue doing this until you you feel your edges yeah so that's all for this um, canvas binding so you continue until you come where to where you started remember guys I said we started at the middle we started here so you went all around to the corner we turned again to the corner to the corner to the corner and now to where we started all right so continue doing this uh, we'll also do a video when now we are doing the fillings okay yeah so this is it for this video give it a thumbs up subscribe if you've not subscribed comment and share thank you for viewing this and goodbye for now god bless you